at this location, we'll say it's Tucson. That's eight hours ahead. It said 10 miles. I'm like, hold on here. Audience, I'm your Sylvie Q, Earthquake, a new day, fresh, pleasant, life, carefree. Welcome, all family, friends, new subscribers to my channel. So, right now, it is eight hours ahead. Talking about Sweden. Let me get right into this story. We talk about eight hours, we talk about two circles or a loop, just like this. So I left, I was on a mission, Fast and Furious mission. So I had to arrive specifically. I had to go see my co worker because he needed to be picked up. So I was like, I right, bet. He called me. And he was like, all right, yo, where you at? I'm like, where are you? He said, Tucson. So I was like, all right, how far is the drive? He's like, two hours. So I grabbed one of the cars from the lot. I'm racing. I look at the driver's display and it is a little bit above half. So I'm like, all right, cool. I can just make it back. I'm thinking my head that it's an hour and a half. No, it is two hours. So I'm like, I, I could make it in one tank. So as I'm driving there, I'm weaving in and out of traffic. The speed limit down here is 75, so I'm about doing about 82. So I probably left at like three or something. Get down there about five, chill out. Wait for my boy to show up. He shows up about 20 minutes, 30 minutes later. So me and him just chilling with this other customer. Spent like another hour, or so we'll just say it's about 6 o'clock, 6.30. So then I look at my driver's display and I'm down to a quarter. I'm like, I don't know. I might be pushing it, but I don't know if we can make it. And it's about 120 on the dashboard. And then GPS also says 120. So I'm like, we are literally just about to make it. How we go? Just in time. So he's like, nah, I think we should be good. We're driving from Tucson all the way up to Peoria, Glendale. Peoria and Glendale, it's like an even line. We just say this is Glendale and this is Peoria. So I'm driving there and then all of a sudden I look down at the driver's display and it says 80 miles left until like I'm out of gas. I was using Waze. Said the same thing there. So I was like, man, I don't know if the GPS is really working here, but he was like, you know what? You better not make any mistakes because if you make any mistakes, you know that's going to be over. So as we get closer, we in Chandler. So I'm like, okay, 40 minutes to our destination and it says 43 miles. So I'm like, wait, are we going a little bit slower here? Chandler down here. And then we needed to go to Peoria, which was go on the Route 10 and then go up to 101. So we're kind of making like a L shape. So we passed by downtown. Now it says 30 miles. 30 miles left and about 33. So in my estimation, we wouldn't be able to make it to the, back to our destination. So you already made that little one circle. With an eight, you got to make two circles in order for it to be an eight. And then all of a sudden, when we reach Westgate, which is where the Arizona Cardinals play, it said 10 miles. I'm like, hold on here. I might have to be using some gas. I'm going to have to let off the, the gas and put this on 60. We're in the right lane and you got the middle lane. You got the left lane and you got the express lane. So it's four lanes. I'm not holding up traffic, but it's like, you know what? You should cut down on your speed because you're doing about 75 all the way through. Now, this is the first time ever that I pushed it to the limit. It's about 10 miles left that we needed to go to our destination. He was like, you know what? You're just going to stay there. Don't use any gas at all. So then as we're approaching our location and destination, before we get off the highway, I'm like, okay, should we go exit short of our destination and then we could just take the local route? 
or should we just pass our exit and then kind of loop around? Because like where we're located, we don't have a direct exit right off the highway. It's either or it's either you stop short or you have to drive past our destination. He's like, you know what? In this circumstance, we're just gonna drive past our destination. And then it's traffic light on, on both ends. So he was like, yeah, you should do that. I'm like, all right, fine. So right before I'm about to leave the highway, like there's no meter or no bars left. I'm like, man, we in trouble here. So then he's like, you know what? All right, I think we might have to push this car. So we're driving it and he's like, nah, coast it, coast it. So then we're coasting and then we reached the traffic light and this traffic light is probably the only traffic light in Arizona that we have to wait like two minutes for. So I'm like, man, I just hope that this car does not die out. So then we're just chilling there for two minutes and then I have it on a like auto brake function. So I don't have to use gas. So when I, whenever I use that function, then it, it saves on gas. It's a stop and start uh, feature that we have on our cars. So at least that was working. So as soon as the light turns green, I don't floor it to our destination. You know, all the managers, everybody left already and the gate is closed. So as soon as I pull up there, thankfully we made it there safely. So then we see one of these guys, uh, we we'll just say gatekeepers that has all the master lot. So he's like, yeah, I can let you in. I'm like, all right, cool. So then I just left the park, the car right in park, like right at our, our stores and stuff. So I was like, man, I told my coworker, I'm like, man, you, we definitely have a story to tell. Now, I, I just got back from that and I'm trying to tell the story and I'm a little bit sleepy. I want to thank you guys for watching. This is the BS The Bad Story to all my family, friends, new subscribers. I know you out there. Walk easy.